Welcome to No Ones. I'm Wobbly Kitten. We're here with Fallout 4. Park Jet is a short hike to the west. If we take this road, we should be able to avoid the larger packs of ferals infesting Cambridge. Traveling this far from the police station is a risk. But getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. If it was up to me, I'd relocate my team. But Scribe Halen detected some disturbing energy readings in the area that need to be investigated. We don't know much about them except that they're short-lived and broadcast on a frequency only attainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned that whoever or whatever is creating those energy readings might be a potential threat. So it's our job to investigate. It might surprise you to learn that my recon team isn't the first to visit the Commonwealth. Over the last seven years, two other teams were sent here by the Brotherhood to gather technology. The first team's mission was a huge success. They came back with crates full of pre-war artifacts and historical documents. The second wasn't so fortunate. Shortly after they arrived, we lost contact with them. They haven't been heard from since. As far as my team goes, we've lost four good men to this godforsaken wasteland. We've been a target from the moment we arrived. But despite our setbacks, I don't intend to give up and head home. Or end up missing. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Is this the Brotherhood of Steel's handiwork? Unfortunately, no. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. Synth? Isn't that the same as robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. Looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna reconnoiter the area. All right. Time to hack the locks. Oh, I locked myself up. Oh, I forgot I to do my... Oops, that didn't happen. Where's she gonna listen to Why this? Why the record? heck are they making us record this? Um, this is Technician Rand, Arc Jet Propulsion Division. I'm here with Technician Janowski, Work Log A1190. Janowski and I have been working on the Mars Shot Project for about three months now, and I think we have the thrust calculations worked out. Man, I wish I was headed up there with those guys. It'd be nice to get the hell away from our lousy planet. <laughs> hey, easy. If we don't record these logs properly, we're gonna get fired. The supervisor is already itching to get rid of us. Especially since it's taking us longer than we promised. So what? We've been drafted anyway. We're shipping out in a few weeks, remember? <sighs> Soon we'll be doing push-ups, eating freeze-dried rations, and just wishing we were spending our day inside a cushy private laboratory. Of course I remember. But I'm trying not to imagine getting my head blown off when I'm on the front line, and keeping my mind on work is helping me deal with the problem. Maybe that doesn't make sense to you, but it's important to me, okay? All right. Sorry. Look, why don't you toss the tape and we'll start a new one. All right. So we know it's not the shitty. Nice. Yeah. Nice work. Let's get moving. You must be destroyed.
Hey. What weak spot? Restored. Thermal engine fueled. Prime and standing by for your command. Perfect. Command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Completed with an efficiency rating of 96.7%. Smoother? I thought we did fine. That sweep was sloppy. We were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. 
Uh, 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 uh. I suppose that's it then. Not necessarily. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Noise. Don't you need to keep it? This isn't the only weapon at my disposal. Brotherhood soldiers always carry a backup. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or, you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. Bum, bum, so, bum. what do you say? So, what would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. Offer still stands. Can we count on you? Mm, I don't know. It's a big decision, so I understand your hesitation. If you decide you want to become one of us, you know where we are. Good luck. Paladin Dance. There's still a place for you in the Brotherhood. If you want it. I'd be honored to join. And I'd be honored to count you as one of us. Meet me back at the police station, and we'll discuss the details. I know, puppers. We gotta get stuff off us. So we've become a brother of steel. Fight anymore? Or back in the day, folks used to call me Murphy the Mad Woman. Well, I bet they nice did. job with those defenses. I've got nothing else I need right now. I think Preston may want to chat though. Hey, got something with a bit of a kick for me, kid? Here, one hit of jet. You did good. Now, let me ride the hide where the site wants to take me. Diamond City holds answers, but they're locked tight. You ask them what they know, but people's hearts are chained up with fear and suspicion. But you find it. You find that heart that's gonna lead you to your boy. Oh, it's... it's bright. So bright against the dark alleys it walks. That's... that's what you need to do, kid. Follow the signs to the bright heart. Phew. Wow. That took more out of me than usual. I'm gonna need to rest now, kid. I'll hand it to you. This place isn't awful. It's still a hole, but it could be worse. Is that a smile? Wow. All right. Well, on that note, I guess we're going to leave it there, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this Fallout adventure. We'll get more out here soon. Fallout 4. Um please check out our links below and don't forget to leave us a comment and let us know what you thought if you have any feelings or um questions and leave us a like if you did subscribe if you're not and we'll catch you guys in the next one